Welcome back to the Rapidia Tutorials. Today I'm gonna teach how to draw Marius from Fortnite. If you are new to this channel, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. I'm gonna draw on my Wacom tablet, but you can follow my tutorials with any other media that you have, whether it's pencil color, sharpie, or crayon. Now first of all, I'm gonna draw the brim of his cap with a curved line across, and I'm gonna arch it slightly upwards in the middle point, like that. Slightly below that, I'm gonna copy the same set of curve line again at that corner. Same is gonna turn upwards and back to the middle point on both ending points at the side. And above that set of shape, I'm gonna draw a curve line upwards on the left corner. Arch curve line across to the right side of his head and turn it back downwards on the right corner. Slightly above that, I'm gonna repeat that same set of line again for the line of his hoodie extend it downwards and flare it slightly out on the left side right there turn it back inwards at the lower point mirror the same set of line on the right side of his head now for the shape of his head below the cap on the left I'm gonna draw a curve line downwards Turn it diagonally inwards to the right, curve line across on his chin to the right, and mirror that same set of line on the right side of his head. Inside of his face, I'm going to draw from the point in the middle, off center to the right, a curve line across to the right and slightly upwards. Turn it downwards and out at the outer corner of the eye right here. Turn it downwards and curve line across to the left. Turn it back upwards at the inner corner of his eye. Inside of that shape, I'm going to draw a line across at this upper corner. Turn it downwards at the outer corner of the eye. Across to the left to the inner corner of his eye. Inside of that, I'm going to draw a small circle in the middle point. Right there. And I'm going to mirror the whole thing on the left side of his face. Below his eye, in the middle point, I'm going to draw a curve line across at that corner. And below that, I'm going to draw a line downwards in the middle point. And repeat that same line again across three more times to the left. And I'm going to do the same thing on the right side. Below his head, I'm going to draw his neck on the left with curve line downwards. Flare it out slightly to the left at the base of the neck. Same is going to turn to the right. Curve line across to the right. And below that ending point, diagonal curve line upwards to the right. Same is going to turn upwards to the side of his face. Below his head, slightly to the left side of that ending point, I'm going to draw a diagonal curve line downwards to the right for the right side of his neck. At the ending point of the hoodie on the left, at the lower point, I'm going to extend it diagonally downwards to the middle of his outfit. Same as a turn to the right. And at that point, I'm going to draw a semi-circle shape. And I'm going to leave a gap at the lower point of that semi-circle shape. At that gap, I'm going to draw an arch curve line from the left to the right, a line downwards on both ending points. And at the ending point of those two lines, I'm going to draw a rectangular shape at that corner. I'm going to repeat that same set of shape again, slightly to the right side. And I'm going to make it slightly shorter than the left side. In between those two shapes, I'm going to draw a curve line across at this upper corner. And on the right side of that whole thing, diagonal curve line upwards to the right at that point. At the outer corner of his hoodie, I'm going to draw his shoulder with curve line out to the right and slightly downwards. Same is going to turn downwards and slightly to the right. And on his elbow point, flare it out with curve line and turn it back downwards flare it back out diagonally to the right and downwards and semi turn inwards 
For the inner line of his arm, I'm gonna draw from the outer corner of his shoulder, like the curve line downwards to the left. Same is turning downwards and slightly to the right, flare it out to the left and same is turn back to the right. Flare it back out below that ending point and turn it back inwards. From that ending point, I'm going to draw a curve line across to the ending point on the right side. And below that, I'm going to draw a curve line downwards on both the left and right. And curve line across from the left ending point to the right. And below the sleeve, I'm going to continue the line of his hands downwards and inwards to his glove. And for the upper line of his glove, I'm going to draw a curve line across that corner. Turn it downwards on the left side. Fair it out diagonally to the left and same as a turn downwards. Same as a turn to the right and turn it up sideways to the right. Turn it downwards and slightly to the right. Turn it diagonally down to the left and same as a turn to the right. Turn it back diagonally upwards to the right and turn it upwards. On the right side of that, in the middle of the finger, diagonal line upwards at that corner. Turn it upwards and repeat that same set of line again on the right side of that. And on the right side of that, diagonal line upwards from the middle point to the right. Turn it upwards to the outer corner of his wrist. And from the upper point of his glove on the right, curve line downwards to that ending point. Short U curve line to the left and turn it back upwards to the upper point of his glove. Inside of that shape, I'm going to draw a small oval shape at the lower point, right there. And on his thumb and finger, I'm going to draw a curve line across below his knuckle, right there. And above his glove, I'm going to draw two curve lines across. And above that, I'm going to draw another curve line across. And another one slightly further up at that corner. Now below his arm at the inner corner, I'm going to draw the right side of his waist with curve line downwards and slightly to the left. Flare it slightly out to the right and same as turn back inwards. Flare it back out downwards and same as turn to the left. Turn it downwards at that corner. Now for the left side of his arm, I'm going to draw a curve line out and slightly downwards on the left side of his hoodie. Same as could turn downwards at the side of his shoulder right there. Turn it diagonally out to the left and downwards and turn it downwards. Flare it out with a curve line and same as could turn back inwards. Flare it back outwards again and turn it back inwards. A short line downwards and slightly to the left at that corner. Curve line across to the right. Turn it upwards. Flare it out to the right with diagonal curve line and turn it back inwards. Repeat that same set of shape again at this upper corner and curve line diagonally upwards and slightly to the right. From the outer corner of his shoulder, I'm going to draw a diagonal curve line across to the right and downwards. Turn it downwards and slightly inwards to his waist. Flare it back slightly out below his waist and same could turn back inwards to the right. Short line downwards at that corner. Curve line across to the right and turn it back diagonally upwards on the right corner. Repeat that same set of curve line again at this lower point of his sweatshirt. And below his sleeve on the left, I'm going to draw his thumb at the inner corner on the right with a curve line downwards. Flare it slightly out and turn it back inwards. Turn it downwards, curve line across to the left. Turn it upwards, diagonally to the left and turn it up. Curve line across to the left at that corner. Turn it diagonally down to the left. Turn it downwards and turn it diagonally down to the right. Same as a turn to the left. Turn it diagonally up to the left at that point. Turn it upwards. Repeat that same shape of the finger again on the left corner. 
turn it upwards and slightly to the right. On each fingers and thumb, I'm going to draw a curve line across below his knuckle, right there. And below his sweatshirt on the left, I'm going to draw a curve line downwards and flare it out to the left. Curve line across to the right at the lower point of that shape. Turn it back upwards and to the sweatshirt on the right corner. Inside of that shape, I'm going to draw a line across at the lower point in the middle right there. Turn it diagonally downwards and slightly out on both the left and right. Inside of that, I'm going to draw a line across at this upper corner. And on the right side of that whole thing, I'm going to draw a strap hanging down from his sweatshirt with curve line downwards. Flare it slightly out to the right and turn it downwards. Repeat that same set of line again slightly to the left side. And a short line across to the right at the lower point. On the left side of the strap, I'm going to draw the outer line of his right leg with curve line downwards at that corner. And on the right side of that line right there, I'm going to draw a strap on his thigh with diagonal curve line downwards to the right. Same is going to turn diagonally across to the left and slightly up. And at that ending point, I'm going to draw a triangular shape right there. And inside of that triangular shape, I'm going to draw another triangular shape. Above that triangular shape, a line upwards on both the left and right side. And at the lower right corner of that triangular shape, I'm going to draw a diagonal curve line across to the outer corner of his thigh and slightly downwards. Turn it upwards and slightly to the right at that corner. Now inside of that shape, I'm going to draw two diagonal curve line across similar to the side of the strap in the middle point right there and a short line downwards on the left corner on the left side of the triangular shape i'm gonna draw a short diagonal line downwards to the left and repeat that same diagonal line again at this lower point sharp turn upwards at that corner inside of that shape i'm gonna draw two similar diagonal curve line in the middle point right there a line downwards on the right ending point. Above that whole thing, I'm going to draw the inner line of his leg with curved line upwards on the left corner. Continue that line below that whole strap. And at that ending point, flare it out with a curved line to the left and turn it back inwards. Repeat that same curved line again at this lower point and below that. Continue the line of his legs downwards, flare it slightly out, and turn it back downwards. Mirror that same set of line on the right corner, right there. And at the ending point below, I'm going to draw a curve line across from the left corner to the right. And above that curve line from the side of his leg, short line out on the left corner. Turn it downwards. And I'm going to mirror that same set of line on the right side of his leg. Curve line across from the left corner to the right ending point. Below that, I'm going to continue the line of his legs on the left and right corner. And below that, I'm going to draw his shoe with curve line across from the left to the right. Extend it slightly out on the right corner. Same as the turn downwards on the right corner curve line downwards and slightly flare it out to the right. Same is going to turn to the left at the base of his shoe, curve line across to the left. Same is going to turn upwards and slightly to the right. And on the left side of that, diagonal curve line across to the left and slightly up. Same is going to turn upwards and turn it inwards to the right. Curve line upwards and flare it out to the left. Same as turn across to the side of his leg at the inner corner. Now for the base of his shoe, from the right corner, I'm going to draw a curve line downwards. Same as turn to the left. Same as turn upwards. 
curve line upwards and flared to the left. Semis could turn downwards at that corner and sharp turn with curve line across to the left. On his socks, I'm gonna draw some lines downwards above the shoe right there. Now for his left leg, I'm gonna copy the same shape of the strap on the left side. Continue the line of his leg at the inner corner right there below the strap. Curve line downwards and flare it slightly out and turn it back inwards. And below that ending point, curve line downwards and slightly to the right, same as turn back downwards. For the outer line of his leg, continue the line downwards and flare it slightly out. Same as turn back downwards, curve line downwards below the knee right there. Curve line across to the right and I'm gonna copy the same shape for the lower part of his pants at this lower point. Below that, curve line downwards on both the left and right to his shoe and from the ending point on the right, curve line across to the left, short line downwards and slightly to the left, sharp turn upwards line across to the left and semis could turn up above that whole thing on the right corner of his leg short line out to the right turn it downwards and slightly to the left curve line downwards and slightly flare it out to hit the base of the shoe turn it diagonally down to the left curve line across to the left curve line across to the left and slightly downwards curve line to the left Turn it diagonally up to the left at the front tip of the shoe. Turn it back diagonally across to the right. Short line upwards, Sam's could turn diagonally across to the right and slightly up. Turn it upwards and flare it out to the left. Sam's could turn to the right and to the side of his leg. Inside of the shoe, from the front tip, curve line across to the right at that corner. Turn it diagonally upwards and across to the right. Same as turn diagonally downwards to the left. Sharp turn across to the right with the curve line and same as turn upwards. Now along his socks, I'm gonna draw some lines downwards similar to his right socks. On the left side of his left thigh, I'm going to draw a strap hanging down from the side with curve line downwards and slightly flared out to the left, short line across to the right. On the left side of that, at the lower point, short line out to the left, turn it downwards, the line across to the right. Inside of that shape, I'm going to trace the same outline along the edges at this lower point right here and at the inner corner of his right leg I'm going to another strap with a similar shape curve line downwards sideways to the right and turn it back upwards at that corner on the left side of that at the lower point a short line across to the left turn it downwards across to the right turn it upwards short line across to the left Inside of that shape, I'm going to trace the same outline along the edge at this lower point. And inside of the strap, I'm going to draw an arch curve line at this lower point. And below that arch curve line, I'm going to draw a small circular shape at that corner. And that's all for our tutorial today. I hope you enjoy it and find my lessons helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. Also, feel free to drop your requests, suggestions, or any other comments in the comment section below. See you next time!